evening to all of you. And in this video, I will uh, try to give you a little summary on a uh, no novella written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And the title of the novella is Chronicle of a Death for Toll. So without any delay, let's begin the video. The book Chronicle of a Death for Toll, it is a novella written by Colombian novelist, short story writer, screenwriter, and journalist Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And he is known as Gabo or Gabito throughout Latin America and considered as one of the most significant authors of the 20th century. And he uh, especially writes in the Spanish language and he received Nobel Prize in Literature in 1981 for his outstanding works in Spanish as well as uh, world literature. His prom prominent literary works include uh, 100 Years of Solitude, The Autumn of the Patriarch, Love in the Time of Cholera, and The General in His Labyrinth. These are some, some of his well-known, prominent, remarkable works. There are many more. Okay, uh, this novella, Chronicle of a Death Foretold, it was published in 1981, and it was... Uh, it consisted 122 pages, and this novella depicts the story of the murder of Santiago Nasser by the Vicario twin, owing to their sister's accusation or confession of taking virginity by Santiago Nasser. Besides, this book also explores the morality of the village people and its collective responsibility in the murder of Santiago Nasser. And uh, it also questions and explores the themes of many issues relating to human being and the society they live. For example, uh, in our society, we often see and we often experience that a woman should be virgin uh, for marriage and virginity is a sign of purity in women. And uh, people often do not talk about the male's virginity, but they are always curious and conscious about uh, female virginity and fa family uh, and uh, female's virginity as the... Uh, cause of family reputation related to marriage, related to respect in the house and human beings lack of sympathy for each other and negligence to save own people, ignorance, meaningless wait for something in life and, and the failure of ad administration and uh, authority towards crime and lack of order, law and order in society, lack of com compassion in unity in human society. These all kinds of things are, this, are tried to portray through this novella and this is a part one um, about this novella and uh, in the part two we will uh, try to talk more things related to the novella okay so uh, in the novella the chronicle of death foretold here uh, we have seen that uh, angela vicario she had recently married with bayardo san roman but after the two hours of marriage angela vicario was dragged back to her mother's home by bayardo san roman as she was not virgin got it clear then her mother was ashamed and she was very angered and she had beaten Angela Vicario. Beatings and pressures led her or led Angela Vicario to reveal the name of a man. Okay, But we, we don't know whether that man had done that thing or not. She might had, uh, she, she might have um, fabricated his name that we don't know. But as she had said like that, that uh, a person called, a person called Bayardo San Roman, Oh, sorry, a, a person called Santiago, he had defiled her purity and her honor. Then uh, then her two brothers, um, they were very angry and they were very furious to, to hear it. And upon hearing it, her twin brother instantly decided to take revenge or avenge the insult to their family and honor with two knives, uh, uh, which they earlier used to slaughter pigs. Okay, means their, their two, means her two brothers were uh, related to uh, butcher butcher occupation. So when uh, they heard that her sister's virginity was taken by a uh, man called uh, Santiago in their own town, then they they were very angry and spontaneously they had decided to go go to, to visit him and, and try to take revenge by killing him. Okay. Then uh, then they proceeded to the meat market in the pre-dawn hours to, to sharpen their knives and they had also announced to the owner, um, including other butchers, that they, they were planning to kill a person called Santiago because he had taken her sister's virginity, okay? And uh, when they uh, said things like that, at that time, no one believed that uh, they were going to do it. And they, they had just ignored that impending threat. Rather, they had interpreted it as a drunken rambling. And means they had thought that this, these two brothers, they, they might have drunk and that's why they are doing this kind of silly thing. That kind of thinking was going, going on among the townspeople, okay? Then, and as... Everyone of the town knew that uh, these two brothers are very good natured person, good natured human being. They would never going to do any kind of uh, thing uh, related to crime or murder. But uh, but what happened? On the other hand, their butcher friend Faustino Santos, when he heard that uh, these two brothers are they were planning to kill Santiago, he was 
alert. So he had, uh, he he suspected that they might do it. So he was utterly dubious. So he reported that this threat to the policeman. And that policeman name was Leonardo, Leandro Pornoy. There, uh, thereafter, these two brothers, they moved to uh, Clotidel Armentos milk shop and uh, told her about their plan to kill Santiago. Okay, then, then uh, this police officer, Lindro Pornoy, he had, he had contacted officer Colonel, uh, Colonel Aponte. Okay, and when he went to meet Aponte to talk about this issue, at that time, uh, he had seen that Colonel Aponte was very calm and he was relaxed. He was uh, enjoying his breakfast after a leisurely dressing. And after some 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 time, he heard what uh, the policeman had to say. And after that, they went to milk shop and and their that two brothers were there and um, they they had tried to snatch their knives and uh, and they had uh, warned them to uh, go to their home and told them that and uh, this colonel had told the people uh, in the town that uh, these two people or these two brothers they are nothing but just a pair of big bluffers they only talk but in rea reality they can do nothing that kind of thing uh, was said by the police officer and uh, this uh, when this this new, uh, when this scene was um, experienced and witnessed by that milk uh, milk seller uh, Clotilde Armenta then she asked officer Lindro to investigate this matter far, further to uh, to prevent uh, killing Santiago. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, he had not uh, listened to her, rather he had ignored. And then this news of planning to kill Santiago, it spread in the town like in the town like a wildfire, as it was announced by the two brothers in the meat market and milk store. Basically, no one had warned and informed Santiago. He had no idea about his uh, murder. Okay. Then Clotilde, um, Clotilde, on the other hand, she had left no stone unturned to request or ask everyone that if you uh, saw Santiago then please tell him that these two brothers uh, were plan planning to kill him Be because it is said by her sister that uh, he had taken her virginity. Okay. Then uh, everyone assumed that he must have been warned already or some and some some section of the town believed that someone else would warn him and uh, some uh, some had said that they couldn't find him to tell it and some some said that that uh, that, that uh, they do not or sorry they did not believe it would ha happen and uh, some were saying that they were too busy with their own uh, things and rather they were excited uh, about the bishop's arrival in their town and some were saying that uh, it would be better if they uh, kill him okay this kind of thing were going on and some some section of that town were saying saying that saying that that uh, if they uh, they killed him then it would be justified right so these all kinds of things were going on at the time then what happened then in due course the two brothers they had sewn up again to the milk shop uh, uh, after the uh, after their uh, that that knives were taken by the policemen and after that too they had uh, came uh, they had come back and they had uh, sewn up again to the milk shop and in the milk shop they were then to saying the same thing that uh, we have brought two new knives and we are we were planning to kill that person santiago because this is our family's pride and this is the matter of our sister's respect honor this all kind of thing were going on this time uh, there was a person in that um, scene pedro but he he too had his hesitations about killing and he has uh, he felt that uh, they had already fulfilled their duty and mayor had also disarmed these two brothers so now uh, they had nothing to do uh, then uh, then too they were not stopped rather in uh, from that milk shop they they were yelling that we we uh, we were planning to kill santiago uh, but as earlier everyone in the town or in that uh, scene all were uh, lost in their own world and they were waiting for a new bishop's arrival in in their town okay then what happened? Besides the, uh, now, San Santiago, he had woken up after an hour's sleep, and uh, now he he had no idea about all this. That uh, what kind of things are going on uh, about him in the town. So he after waking up, uh, he had uh, got he he dressed up and then that and then he greet the bishop. Means uh, he had dressed up to greet the bishop. Then uh, then he uh, gone to see bishop. Then he has. Uh, he had seen that that the bishop uh, had not halted means he had not stopped in their town though um, many people were waiting there for for his arrival and as santiago had no idea about his imminent murder uh, and um, 
some uh, somebody had left a note on his floor that uh, as he was sleeping so somebody had uh, left a note on his floor that uh, someone is going to uh, kill you or, or or the two brothers are after you to kill you but but the death too he had not uh, seen as he as he has not uh, noticed that thing so it was left there got it then what happened then the bishop uh, passed by the town without stopping despite people's waiting with various gifts and at that time santiago uh, had uh, seen uh, his fiancee uh, and uh, uh he he had tried to approach his fiancé but his fian, uh, fiancé had already known about his uh, uh, about the two brothers thing and the uh, the this um, what do you call it yes the virginity thing so she was too upset and uh, and she she was despondent uh, uh, about his involvement with angela and he and she decided not to warn him and uh, she rather she yelled at uh, santiago by saying that i hope they kill you okay and this kind of thing were going on means no one had taken taken this death threat seriously okay then what happened then uh, these two brother these two brother other uh, they uh, had gone to uh, his home our uh, santiago santiago's home and then she killed him oh, sorry then then they killed him at his kitchen got it then what happened then the uh, those two brothers were taken by the police in uh, in the prison and uh, santiago had already been murdered and um, uh, their sister their sisters uh, former husband uh, he he had not been in contact with uh, their sister but after uh, 7 or 14 years i have forgotten uh, they, he he came back in that uh, in that town but nothing remarkable happened so in in that way uh, this play uh, this no- novel ends in uh, here and uh, i have already told you that uh, this novel has tried to uh, explain the various issues that is prevalent in our society thank you so much for watching